Okay guys, we finally moved on to the shoe armour. Now, again, can't remember what I said about this, but I had my very, my, well, my best friend make these for me. Um, and they are based off, uh, well they are, um, Atomic Cosplays um, ones. And he had a pattern, or file I guess more accurately, on um, ugh, Etsy. <sighs> And so I gave it to them and they did it. And it was funny because obviously they were showing me the process as they were doing it. And they were saying basically, it shouldn't have been possible. Like there were certain things about it. Obviously I'm not a 3D printer expert, so I don't know. But basically, yeah, there were things about it that just didn't seem possible. But uh, lo and behold, we actually got it done. Uh, well, they got it done actually, I have to give them full credit. Um, unfortunately, when they first gave it to me, I realized it didn't have enough screws and rivets. So they had to send it to me again. But um, honestly, the problem was it was uh, this pivot bit. And obviously they gave me some test pieces and rough pieces just so I could uh, work with. Um, but yeah, these bits go inside here and they're, because again, pivot, it's what makes the shoe like bend. Um, but for the life of me, I could not get one side on on each shoe. And then I realized the bend in the pivot was, they were all the same. So I think I had to have two going the other way. And when they sent that to me again, again, I couldn't get it on. And I was literally there thinking, what am I doing wrong here? So essentially, I think it took about four attempts. Like to, So I took everything apart and started with the pivot bits. And I think that's where I was going wrong. Um, unfortunately as well, these bits, um, I think were incorrectly labeled. And even now I'm not fully sure I've got the, the, them the right way, but it's what works because it seemed like if I used a certain one for the pivot bit, it wasn't, it was too thick or basically it just wouldn't go on. I don't know what the actual issue was, but we're here now. We managed to get it fully done. And at one point also I ended up breaking a screw because I thought I had the right one. So I tightened up the screw inside. Unfortunately, obviously then I couldn't get it out. So I literally had to snap it off. And at that point I wasn't sure I had enough to go, but it's all good. So we've got both shoes done and I can just show you. So if I take it off the shoe, it comes off really well. I have tried them on. I may even show the little test video here if I have it. Um, and I can walk in them perfectly well. Um, I don't even, they don't even really move that much. Um, yeah, I was, I was concerned though. Cause like I say, it's, if it doesn't have to like bend so much, like, like I'm not doing like a full thing because these shoes are even like too big for me. So I don't think it moves too much when I walk anyway. So yeah, I think even if it is the wrong combination or whatever, it still works. And like I said, I tried it on, but I've tightened everything up now. Uh, and yeah, it all looks really good now. Um, so now the next step is to paint it or just make it look a bit better. So the idea is then to make it more battle damaged and obviously the right color. Now, originally I was worried um, about painting this cause I was like, I don't know if I have the right stuff. Um, but lo and behold, obviously again for test pieces. So this is a spare piece I had. And what I did to this, I plasti dipped it twice. I used just some acrylic paint to just get like the scuff marks and I varnished it. And as you can see, and this material is very bendy, obviously. So this like bent even at its maximum, there is no cracking, no damage whatsoever. So that is like perfect result for me. So uh, basically means I can just go straight in and do that. But first of all, to make some battle damage, I have to use my soldering tool for the very first time. Um, I think I could use my Dremel, but I think it's gonna be messy and also you know I've got a soldering tool for a reason so this is probably a good chance to use it for the first time um so what I'm going to do first is and it's just going to be like scratches obviously and all that so I think what I'm going to do first is map out where I want them um and then when I'm happy with that I'm going to go in on my test piece give that a few tests like you know just just get a feel for it have a play around with it and then when I feel ready I will go in and do that once that is done, then I'm just gonna prime the whole thing twice, like, cause these rivets here also, they need to be gold. So yeah, if I just plasti dip the whole thing, uh, I've done some tests on those as well. Um, so they're quite a rough surface. Um, so I thought about sanding it, but that didn't really work. Um, so I think 
I'll either just go in because once I think once the plasti dips on it will make the surface a bit smoother and then obviously like a couple of coats of just acrylic paint it should look better and also again unless you're scrutinizing it up close you're not going to see it so it's just more for my kind of Thing. And then I also I tried to put some quick seal on it just to smooth out the surface. Um, that might still be an option. I'm still waiting on my test piece to dry fully to determine that. But obviously why I'm doing that, I can just work on it. So yeah, plastic dip a couple of times. Then literally go in with some acrylic paint, just scuff up some edges and all that. And then go in where the lines are just to highlight those. Um, the back also needs some gold in here. And yeah, and if, I think if I really go for it, so um, a bit time check we are on the 18th of may con is next week i'm leaving on the thursday um but i think i could possibly bash these out today or at least get the main work done and then once they're done deku is near enough done it's just some little bits and pieces i've got to do but then the main bits will be done so yeah let's hope for that but uh yeah i'm a bit worried about using my soldering tool because i've never used it before but ideally it should be simple it's basically just a heated up pen and then you've got to just like go in with it obviously you've got to make sure you're wearing all the right equipment like it's, it's so i'm gonna do it outside yeah so wish me luck let's go i'll just show you some examples as well i don't know if you can see there's what he's done and i'm just going to use them as some references so i'm just gonna go with that Hey guys, I hope you can hear me, I've got my mask on, but basically this is the test piece. And I had it up to, so the minimum temperature is 200, I put it up to about 300 after some tests, so it's not like full heat, so I thought that would be a good way to start, but yeah, it's really good, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do the next one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the main thing. Oh my god you guys, again I hope you can hear me, but... For a first attempt, I mean, at least it's just lines, so it shouldn't really go too badly. But, yeah, it looks really good. I can't wait to get it all painted and coloured up. Alright guys, and there you have it. Just like simple little cracks and nicks. Cause, I mean, to be fair, I think because the arm is meant to be sturdy, it's like, you know, these are just like nicks and knacks, but... Oh, they look so good! I'm actually so happy. I'm just going to go in and cut some stray bits that I noticed while I was cutting away. Okay guys, this is the shoes after two layers of Plasti Dip. And they uh, look pretty good. So now I'm going to do the dry brush to silver on. So guys, here we have the shoes completed again. I don't think I showed much of the process of this. Um, so obviously I went in with a soldering tool. I think I showed that. And then literally for the paint job, I didn't have any spray, so I had to use um, acrylic. And uh, I used a test piece. I think I showed that. And it worked really well, so I just went with that. And yeah, it was literally just a matter of silver paint and just scuffing up sort of the edges. Um, I actually It was only one layer, funny enough, um, which I think looks quite good to be honest um yeah it took the paint job took a lot longer than i thought actually i don't know why i thought otherwise um but essentially so i scuffed it all up first then i went in individually on the soldering like lines and painted them um, unfortunately I didn't have a brush thin enough so it kind of kept going over but again I kept trying to remind myself this is meant to be messy and you know no one's really going to scrutinize so yeah that um but there were obviously quite a lot of marks and um had to make sure I didn't miss any um I was saying that and I can just see one there that I've missed oh dear god <laughs> it's gonna bug the shit out of me now um yeah so okay I'll have to fix that in a second <laughs> 
Um, I was so sure I hadn't missed any. Um, yeah, so that took long. And then, uh, so for the uh, back and the main bolts and these, uh, they're all gold. Um, so I used just, uh, it was a couple layers of gold paint, so I had to let that dry. So they took a few days overall. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, I varnished it, um, which also worked really well. Um, like it's giving them back the little shine. So, I mean, I know they're meant to be like scuffed up, but keeps it shine and obviously it lets it set. So, um, yeah, but I'm just going to go back in and make sure I haven't missed any. I should have double checked, but I was a bit in a bit of a rush. So um, what can you do? Um, yeah, no, but uh, overall, they look a lot better than I ever thought they would look. Um, it's kind of one of those things of like they're sitting here and I know I made them like or, you know, like. Uh, painted them and everything. But I'm just kind of looking at them like, they look too good <laughs> to be something I made. Obviously, again, I will give absolute full credit for the 3D printing to my friend because I would not even know where to start with them on that. But uh, everything else I can say was my work. So, uh, yeah, Com uh, a collaborative effort. And we have the shoes. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm going to actually be able to get the costume all together and see how it all looks together. Uh, which will be good, and then we can. Yeah. How low can you go? Oh!